Hello everyone and welcome to Rusty Studios where today I have a very exciting review. Damage to Rod Torque Redline and Grim 2 Pack. It's based off of Scene in Cars 2, where Finn McMissile tells Rod Torque Redline to put down a tracking device in the bathroom, but Rod ends up getting into a fight with Grim and Acer. He's surprisingly able to hold him off for a while, but eventually does get damaged. This 2 pack was released in 2011, and his only way to get damaged to Rod Torque Redline since the die cast was never sold as a single. Looking at the front of the box, you can see the Disney Pixar Cars 2 logo and some artwork of Grim and Rod Torque Redline, not his damage variant, just normal artwork. And we also have the screen bubble letting us know this is an exclusive vehicle. On the back of the box are some other Cars 2 2 packs, and it's interesting that they're using character artwork rather than die cast artwork. Alright, I've got these two out of the box now, and I'm going to start with Grim. We can see that he's an orange gremlin with the striped word gremlin on the edge of those stripes. He also has some dirt detailing at the bottom with a few more little scratches here and there. Gray plastic bars on the roof and a rusted gray bumper where we can see this is an AMC. His license plate says wrecked. Another detail I like are the pearly wheels that look like they're supposed to be gold, but in reality they're probably just copper. On the hood you can see some more text saying gremlin. We can get a better look at his angry expression with his curled up mouth. Now originally I planned on comparing Grim to Acer, but sadly I don't have an Acer. I do however have Don Crumlin. These two look to be using the exact same mold. Don is just purple, but they also have similarities like the metallic outlines around the windows, the kind of golden wheels. I also have Greebles. It's time to molds are very different, especially like the clown nose and the thing on the hood. The eyes on Greebles are also a lot bigger, although the windows are pretty similar. But the biggest difference isn't in design, it's about personality. And Greebles is one of the only non-evil gremlins we've ever seen. We don't quite know that. It's a clown car after all. Now it's time for the exclusive vehicle out of this two-pack. Damaged Ride Torque Red Line. Now his paint job is overall the same. Surprisingly doesn't have that many scratches. Things like his silver wheels seem to be just fine. He still has very sparkly blue paint with a black line going down the side. However, there's some huge dents on his roof and trunk. A much smaller dent on his rim. That's to a dent that has this sort of ripple effect that follows around to his brake light. And on the back we can see this license plate is now hanging on by a thread. And the most damage absolutely has to be in the front. The all sorts of smaller dents on both sides have all been caused by the massive dent in the hood. To a point where we can almost see underneath the hood. So it makes sense why he has such a scared and sad expression. When compared to his regular diecast, we is a lot more scared. Paint looks a little bit shinier, but also a little bit darker. And the comparison made me notice that he is missing one of his rear view mirrors. Must have fallen off sometime during the scene. If you remember, there was another Asian car too that got damaged. That being Leland Turbo. He was compacted. These two went through some very different things, but I've just always thought this custom was funny ever since I made it. Here's another comparison between the damaged Rod Torque Redline and Finn Missile and Holly Shiftwell. Rod is so detailed that he almost matches the level of detail in the damaged King diecast. But that brings me to the end of today's review. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.